Happy Monday, Philippines! This is Vernon V.V. Velasco with your daily dose of news from the Daily Tribune on this, the start of the working week, May 13, 2024. For our headliner, the government can't seize control of Cavitex before the concession period ends, according to various sources interviewed by Daily Tribune. If they do, they'll have to pay Cavitex infrastructure company for all the expenses incurred. The disagreement is over who gets the toll fees collected. In business, Emirate, a real estate investment trust company, is acquiring six new office properties worth 13.15 billion pesos. This will increase their portfolio by 48% and move them closer to their 500,000 square meter target by the end of the year. In the glitzy world of showbiz, Vice Ganda is receiving praise for her recent TikTok video showcasing Filipino pop culture and beautiful tourist destinations. The video has garnered over 5 million views. For fashion hounds out there, Nino Franco recently showcased their latest collection in New York City, no less. The collection highlights the work of Toboli artisans and the agricultural landscape of Lake Cebu. In sports, Rain or Shine forced a do-or-die game against TNT in the PBA Philippine Cup after a 121-113 to win. Rain or Shine capitalized on the absence of key players from TNT to secure the victory. That's it for today. For more news and updates, visit the Daily Tribune website at tribune.net.ph or follow us on social media.